Hello everyone, so I want to make a really quick video and I want to jump straight to the point. I have found a workaround for the DX12 issue on Path of Exile when recording in OBS. To clear it up for people, because I want to just skim through this video, I want it to be a straightforward guide, but the intro timestamp will be on the screen. Basically, DX12 is not working with OBS and it's because the Path of Exile game company, which I cannot remember for the life of me, I'll put it on screen, has not configured it properly and it's not working. And there's only other options like DX11 and Vulkan. DX11 is shit and does offer a lot of the upscaling methods that DX12 does. And Vulkan is generally for if you have a better CPU and a better GPU. If you are having an issue, try this video. It does require a paid app, but there is cracked versions. I will not link any cracked versions. Just be safe when you're downloading because YouTube will beat my ass if I fucking upload a thing advertising or putting a cracked version in a link. There is ones out there I've checked, but you're going to need loss of scaling 3.2.2 from what I know. It's an app. It's it's available on Steam. It's cheap enough. I, I you can pick it up on sales and stuff. Great app anyway for AI upscaling and applying sharpness and stuff to games anyway. So you'll definitely use it if you buy it, but you will need it for this and it's necessary for the workaround. As I said, there's cracked versions out there. YouTube will beat my ass if I link them. Just be safe. So I'll jump into the method here real quick. All right, so once you're over in loss of scaling, I'm using loss of scaling 3.2.2. None of this really matters except for two parts I'm going to show you here. This frame generation, I'm using it because I generate frames with AI for this game anyway, because my GPU is shit. Some people will be fine or might play on lower settings or whichever. You want to go to capture. Capture needs to be WGC. If you've got a loss of scaling that doesn't have WGC, it's not a newest one. I don't know when WGC was introduced. I haven't looked into it. This is kind of a very rushed vid, but you can look it up online. It should be there or I'll put it overlay on the screen. You want to set WGC. It will not work without this. Q target doesn't really matter. You generally want to have it at one. Uh, if you really want zero, but it will it will increase your GPU usage. It's up to you. One seems to work fine just for me. Uh, another thing you want to just turn on is just turn on multi display mode. It's just a quality of life feature that makes it so once you tab out of the game, it doesn't go all weird and all. So once you got everything here, make sure it's using your actual GPU. You can see my 1660 Ti here. I don't have an integrated graphics card, so that should all work fine. So once all that's done, just press scale and then switch to Path of Exile or your OBS and I'll jump over to OBS now and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so we're over in OBS. This is going to be quite difficult for me to show you because I need to show you what to do in OBS while using OBS to record. So you're going to want to get game capture, same as you normally would. And you're going to want to enable it. I won't enable it because you won't see what I'm doing if I do enable it. But you want to go to capture specific window. You can do that by going to properties. And you want to select lossless scaling. It'll say, it might say something else here for you, but it's saying null for me. Do not choose Path of Exile because you'll get a black screen. Choose lossless scaling. And as you can see, this is Path of Exile in DirectX 12. And it is perfectly playable here. You might see a bit of ghosting around my character. That's because I'm using frame generation as I previously stated. You don't need to use frame generation. I'm just using it already. Basically. You are taking your screen, giving it to loss of scaling because OBS can't record your screen, telling OBS record loss of scaling and it's working here and it should turn out perfectly clear. There is a small issue with this and it's that loss of scaling does use your GPU. So if you are getting a bit of lagging or stuttering when you're running around here or in your recording, that is due to loss of scaling not being given enough GPU. When you're running your game, you're going to be running on max graphics or whatever and your GPU is probably going to be pulling a about a hundred percent gpu usage unless it's bottleneck and that's not giving loss of scaling enough room to do what it needs to do if you don't select frame generation or you don't select fsso or anything in your loss of scaling settings it won't need much gpu but to ensure it does have gpu lower your foreground fps cap by a tiny bit if you're on 100 percent gpu usage and you get about 60 fps lower it to about 50 or 55 this frees up a bit of space so your gpu is only using 95 percent usage at all times it's hitting the cap that five percent can always be given to loss of scaling and it will stop the lagging for example i'm usually on 60 but i am using frame generation so i need to give loss of scaling some resources so i've reduced my fps to a cap of 40 to allow loss of scaling to use a bit of my gpu to double my fps to 80 and i can do this even further sometimes i double it to 120 it's it's a lot of messing around and I'll, you'll find another guide linked in the description where i'll talk about how loss of scaling really works because it can be quite confusing but i'm just telling you if you're getting stuttering it's your game hogging all your gpu you need to drop your fps it's my workaround i don't know how i found it out i was kind of just messing around with stuff as i said before i don't take credit i'm sure someone else has found this i'm saying i found it myself and i couldn't find anyone else that had done this but there you go that is pretty much it you can mess around with it a bit, mess around with your loss of scaling settings. You want to use frame generation or FSSOR. 
But if people are just looking to play their game and record their game, this is the best bet. Well, that's going to be it for me, really. I hope this helps because I know Pat Vexel is causing a lot of people issues with OBS capture. And this is a workaround I found that works the best without your laggy window capture, without your laggy display capture. So I hope it helped. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you in the next one.